Could, uh, you appreciate about attention to detail here tonight that led to the victory, Mike? Well, we started real good, obviously. Came out and played, and a uh, good goal for Ennis uh, from the goat there, Dermy. So I thought that was a good start for us. You know, I thought we had a real good penalty kill here tonight. I didn't like the way we finished as much just because uh, we gave up some chances we didn't need to, but a uh, good win for our team. And uh, like I said earlier today, the mums were all there watching them, so that was good, too. They got to see that, and then they can come on the trip here. Well, for sure, it's going to take them time, though. I mean, let's uh, I'll get carried away. They're all fine as long as the ice is open. But as soon as it's in contact and you got to keep your legs going, you get stuck out in a shift. Took the penalty the one time you got stuck out in the shift. That's just it's hard for you, and it's going to take some time. So uh, we'll be patient. He has to. Be. Are you still experimenting with him, like where he fits on the power play a little bit? Not really. What we're doing is we'll just. Uh, once it gets up to speed, well, we're going to worry about it more, I guess. In the meantime, though, uh, uh, you know, we we want our power play to be deadly. It wasn't as uh, that way tonight, but uh, we're going to need it to be like that if we're going to have success. He didn't run plenty of time in that four-minute penalty kill. What's a kill like that do for a bench that's watching on as you guys try to establish tempo early? Well, obviously, you know, you're up and you're in a good situation, and suddenly you get a four-minute or the Willie stick got caught. Uh, you need the kill, and uh, we gave up one tonight. We didn't need to. Uh, our kill's got to become a dominant, dominant kill. We thought we got off to a real good start on the kill. Hasn't been as good late. We need it back. Is Willie where you thought he would be, Mike, three games in after being off for so long and joining a club that's quick and good? Yeah, I mean, we knew it was going to take some time for sure. Uh, you know, I actually spent time with Jeremy, the sports science guy, tonight trying to figure out just in training camp when you trained all summer and you come back, how many days it takes you to get your heart and all that level. So we were working on that tonight to figure that out. And it's not as quick as you'd like to think. So, How long does it usually take? Well, we just we did it today when everyone's through it, it 12 days before it levels out after training camp. Is what we, so you think about that. You're in shape. You've trained. You're ready to go. You've been with the team for a month, basically. So some time.